Hello everyone! Welcome to 8-Bit Adventures Game Night, where, uh, I make art. <laughs> Among other things. So, uh, yeah, this is my bi-weekly art stream. Working on some D&D commissions tonight, uh, for my friend Tuck. Um, just kind of finishing up coloring on, on this one for his daughter. Um, and then, uh... I'm not sure. I haven't really, I haven't gotten the other one, the details on the other one. So, um, I'm just gonna turn this down a little bit. There we go. Can everybody still hear that? So, uh, so yeah, if I don't uh, if I don't get further details by the you know before uh, the stream ends um, and there's enough time, you know, I may just work on uh, 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 what is it art roulette or something, you know, just something random. So, uh, but we still have a lot of work to go. Uh, we have to do, still do some base coats and then uh, highlights and shad uh, bleh, shading. Shading can't talk so but yeah so we are using uh was it clip studio paint ex some might know this is manga studio skip this one. How's everybody doing this evening? So like I said, we're still applying base coats here. Hello, Heather! So one of the interesting things I'm finding about this program is that uh, when you're using like the oil brush, uh, yeah, I can imagine. Um, <laughs> definitely uh, always nice to uh, be back home after a, after a trip. Um, with this software, using uh, the various paint brushes, they automatically blend your colors uh, with the adjacent colors. And I feel like for most painting, like, that's great. Like, it will automatically start to apply gradients and stuff like that. Um, I know for me, it's a little bit of a headache because I often like doing, uh, because I use you know, very distinct, excuse me, outlines. Um, I often want to have uh, very clearly defined color regions. So it's just something that I got to get used to.
Heather, you'll definitely want to catch up on the latest Tales of Jamora because uh, that game's just... <laughs> I don't even... I don't know what to make of that game anymore. but it is glorious. Um Oh, as far as the uh as far as the paintbrushes, I'm not sure. Um I think it might be the kind of brush and uh like because I'm still so new to using this program, um I don't really know if it's a feature to turn off or it's just if I need to use a different brush. Um, the oil brush, the oil paint does seem to be the one that I like the best thus far, and I don't know how to set up new brushes or new like paint features in this program. So there is that. Um, but I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's just a little bit of an adjustment. Ah. So, uh, I mean, one of the good things certainly is, you know, that we release uh, about half as often <laughs> as as Critical Role. So, uh, so yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, we also, we, we have to do what, what's good for us, too. And I mean, it's, you know, for for most of us, um, we're just not able to, to commit to a weekly thing. So, I feel like it ends up working out for kind of what seems to be our listener demographic as well. Um, I really just don't know what to do with these shoes. I feel like there needs to be some element of green on here for a druid. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, that's a lot.
Yeah, a four four plus hour weekly game on a weeknight is definitely uh definitely something that's gonna eat up. Oh, that's a that's a decent idea. I think that might fit. It's, uh, the character's an Eladrin druid, so definitely something of, like, the fancier bent. Uh, that doesn't use, you know, metal, obviously, for being a druid. Um, so yeah, I think, I think, like, a crocodile skin would work. this point, I mean, we're pretty much done with the base coat. So now what we can do is go in and add some shading, some highlights. What we'll do is we'll use this opportunity to kind of do hair, like individual strands of hair, got to do this club though because this is this has easily turned into my favorite part of this piece
And what I've got going on here with my uh, with my shadow layer is, um, so I have it set to multiply, and what that does is um, it takes the like color values and. I'm trying to think of how to describe this correctly. Um, so it's almost like it subtracts those color values from the base color to give you a darker color that like has a mixture of the two. Um, I'm not sure if that's describing that correctly. But basically it creates a shadow um, using you know the base color so what I'm doing right now is I'm just selecting the the base coat color but because I have you know multiply set it'll actually deepen that that color light on the belts here so we don't have a whole lot of real estate to work with Yeah, it's something like that on how um, the idea is like that natural shadows aren't actually black, um, right? It's uh, it's more like adding adding a darker hue to a color. Um, So in this case, what it, what it's doing is like, say like you just have red and then you were to apply red on top of it, it would say, okay, well, this is supposed to be a shadow. So if it's the same color, it's going to create this shadow of that color. Oh, I have a fly in here. Great. So uh, we had folks um, installing insulation today. So, uh, doors were open quite a bit, and now we have a bunch of flies in the house.
And now there's probably like a bunch of different things that I could be doing that would be more realistic shadows and stuff like that. Uh, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. But, um, I mean, when we get right down to it, it's, uh, you know, I prefer doing something simpler, something a little more stylized. Um, I know coloring was never really a, a strong suit of mine. And so, um, I would rather focus on strengths and kind of accentuate those. Um, especially since, like, this is still, you know, a hobby. So this is where uh, we can kind of add. Add our uh, line work. Yeah, I wasn't really given a uh... If I recall, I wasn't really given, like, a, a style for the heels, just that uh, the character wears high heels and is a druid. So, uh, yeah, it was actually uh, Heather's suggestion to do, uh, you know, maybe try doing, like, a crocodile uh, leather heels. Uh, and I kind of like that idea. So, we're doing it. <laughs> oh, I thought of you uh, last night. Uh, so, I saw uh, a, a commercial with Ric Flair in it. And I can't remember what it was. Oh, it was for like some breakfast sandwich thing. And uh, it, was, it was just so weird. <laughs> uh, and, and just like centered around this whole you know, getting excited over a breakfast sandwich. And it's like, it's a, it was a new commercial. So it's, it's like old Ric Flair. moment I saw that I was like I gotta tell Josh yes oh that's right yeah it was for Cumberland Farms
which somehow just makes it even weirder. <laughs> I feel like Ric Flair would make a good uh right's the word like inspiration for a stand. <laughs> That's what we can do for our inevitable uh Jojo I don't know one shot campaign something with all of our uh astral astral soul monks astral self monks whatever they're called same thing let's screen it and this is how we're gonna do our highlights all stands have to be wrestling themed I, th I think I think that's what you got to do right I, uh, I, I think if I were to, if I had to have a wrestling theme stand, uh, I think mine would have to be Yokozuna. Oh, ma Macho Man would be good. Yeah, Mach Macho Man would be a good choice. He was my favorite! <laughs> he was my favorite growing up! <laughs> Thank you. 
But I was also like that weird kid that would wait for like ESPN 2 to show uh, like the sumo wrestling tournament. So. Maybe. This is where it's going to be a pain with, uh, with shoes that are supposed to be scaled. So now. So what we got to do to go the extra mile and uh, and and pad out time till the end of the stream, <laughs> working on this thing.
just like this. Good. Um, so I was listening to Nintendo voice chat today and they were talking about it. Um, I don't know if it's something that I'd be interested in, but, uh, I mean, the premise seems interesting. I mean, I was, I'm also not super familiar with River City Ransom. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, then. Alright, so for this... Sweet. And then on the screen layer, just do white. I feel like we gotta do more with his hair. Alright, I know there's a blur tool somewhere. Blend! This is what we want. Gotta apply. Get over there. Thank you. 
Yeah. God, just that. That shillelagh, man, is like. Probably the best thing I've ever drawn. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm all in on it. And it's almost like that, that's it. That's peak. I, there's, there's. Well, thank you, Josh. I think, uh, I think. This is just uh, indicative of what I can do with this software. As opposed to um, essentially fighting the software, like I was seemed like I was doing a lot with Photoshop, or having to, you know, use uh, several different pieces of software, you know, like I was with with Illustrator as well. I'm gonna blend stuff even further a bit. Soften these things up a bit on the face. I'm going to make sure to save. Thank you, Heather. Now, uh, we'll do some cool, funky character effect type stuff, um, or rather text. Oh, there we go. How curious. There we go. And then crank up the size of this. Ooh, 
down here. Now, the only thing I don't know is if there's other things that I can do with text. That's the only thing. I'm still trying to get a, a handle on uh, interesting text effects in this program. Or even something as simple as, like, adding a stroke. There we go. Then I think we'll just do, um, let's do a shape. There we go. Still trying to figure out how to transform things. <laughs> transform. Uh, free transform. That's what I want.
There we go. Um, I don't know how I feel about this border, though. Okay. So, let's see. I think that... I don't know if I want to add a background to it. Because really the main point is the character in this piece. So... Um, but we are going to save again. Um, you know, I, I know what I can do. I'll just do a simple... Ooh, that's a decent idea. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like, I like that. Um, let's see. I actually, I might have a bunch of trees that I made. Yeah. So we will still do... Actually, I kind of like just that. I think for other pieces, because I've done, I've done like that Donkey Kong background before for the for Eight Bit Adventure stuff, and I really, I, I mean, I love those loading screens and everything. Um, but I actually kind of like just the simplicity of. like a line art background with a color portrait. So I think maybe what I'll do is uh, just do a tree. this up here. Yeah. I don't know. I almost kind of liked it without the trees. Yeah, you know what? I like it better without the trees. So there we go. Just in time. So, uh, <laughs> and of course, now that uh, now that people start joining in the chat, 
Um, uh, this piece is finished, so um, that's actually going to wrap up the stream uh, for tonight. Um, so uh, thank you for joining me, everybody. Uh, and um, I think there will be another uh, art stream in two weeks. I think that might be the only stream that week. Um, but, uh, yeah, I have to, I kind of have to get other commission information, uh, from Tuck. Otherwise, uh, I'll move on to other commissions, um, if they come in, uh, and if they don't, um, I'm just going to work on, you know, my own, my own stuff that I want to work on. Um, but yeah, I like this format. I might, I might do this kind of format for character portraits. Um, because I like how it looks. Um, but I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm always open to suggestions. So, uh, yeah. So, um, let's see. Other streams this week. Uh, Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, 8-Bit Adventures podcast with myself, Courtney, and Josh. Uh, we're going to be talking about this week's pop culture news. And then uh, uh, Thursday, 8 p.m., uh, WoW Classic. Um, so because uh, that seemed to be a big hit for everybody, so I will be back doing uh, WoW Classic again. Um, and that's it for this week for the streams. Uh, so be sure to tune in. Check those out. Uh, the VOD for Tales of Jamora goes up tomorrow. Or it, it's out on, on YouTube tomorrow and the podcast goes out tomorrow. So uh, there's that. Um, and I think that's it. Oh, if you uh, if you enjoy this content, be sure to check out 8-bitadventures.com where you can see artwork like this. Uh, as well as comics, podcasts, streams, and all that good stuff. Um, and if you want to help support that content, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash 8bitadventures. Uh Patrons do get access to exclusive comics, um, as well as uh, early access to other content. Um, and don't forget, this month is September on Twitch, so all subs are half off. Uh, and if you have Amazon Prime, please consider uh, using your Twitch Prime subscription uh, on this channel. Uh, and for those of you that did, remember, uh, it has to be manually updated. So that is definitely going to wrap things up. So uh, I'm going to sign out. Uh, so have fun, everyone. Happy gaming. Enjoy your pie cake and have a pleasant evening. Good night.